Hey everyone, Reed here. Today I wanted to show you a way to apply conditional formatting to line values in Power BI. Now I'll admit I didn't discover this trick myself. That credit goes to Parker Stevens over at BI Elite from a video that I saw of his at the beginning of the year. He does a lot of awesome Power BI videos as well. It has actually guest posted a few times on my channel and vice versa. So I'll link to his YouTube channel down in the description. But this feature was cool enough that I wanted to make sure that all of you, my subscribers, got a chance to see this as well. So let's hop into Power BI and get started. So I have a line chart in front of me here that has a few things going on for it. It has a stepped line there, plus a trend line and a little bit of forecasting. All the things that you can by default turn on in any line chart. However, notice the little dots that we have that are green, yellow, and red in here. Those aren't things you can actually turn on by default when you're creating one of these, because conditional formatting doesn't actually exist once you have switched over to editing and modifying a line chart. So if I actually select this, come over to the Format Painter and go to Data Colors, normally where you would see the little ellipses here for conditional formatting doesn't exist. So the trick actually comes from the fact that if you have this converted to a bar chart and first apply conditional formatting here and then change it over to a line chart, those conditional formatting logic colors will then transform into dots of the corresponding colors on the placements of the line. Notice in here, now that I have the option, conditional formatting, and then my rule base in here for whatever rules that I have to color those is applied in this box. And then all I have to do, once I've set up whatever rules that might be within the conditional formatting logic, simply convert it back to a line chart, and then it shows up there. And again, shout out to Parker Stevens for showing me how to do this at the beginning of the year. I'd been meaning to do a video on this for a while to help pass this cool trick along, but it's a really fun feature that's kind of built into Power BI. And I'm not positive if it's a bug or a feature, but either way, it's stuck around long enough that I'm now confident to at least pass this information along because I don't think it's going to disappear. But just be careful about publishing this in production reports because there's still a very small chance this little glitch or feature, depending on how you look at it, might go away. But I think it's a really cool little hidden trick uh, to include in the line charts and adds a bit of extra value. And that about covers it for this video. If you like this video, please click or smash that like button below. If you have anything to say about this video or have a suggestion for a future video, please add that to the comment section. And if this is your first time here or you want to see more of these awesome videos, please click that subscribe and notification button. And otherwise, I will see you in my next video.